and we might as well finish off that resonance frequency part. Sorry, that should be one That's over root yeah. LC. or 198.8 197 Divide that by 2 pi. That's right, because they wanted the F, not the omega. two things in the denominator, we have to put them in parentheses. Otherwise, the calculator doesn't know that those are both in the denominator. And you're going to have to redo your answer. something that happens there? Is that when That's when these two reactances oh, are equal. equal That's when the two reactances are equal. So by the way, is that a point where the impedance is very big or very small? Because these cancel out. That's the way to get the smallest possible impedance. Because there's no way this could be smaller than zero. So at the resonant frequency, we have the smallest possible impedance, which means do we have the biggest possible current or the smallest possible? The, we have the smallest impedance and the biggest. This equation says that these are inversely related. Since the voltage is constant, if you're decreasing z, you're increasing i. Remember that impedance is like the resistance. Well, if there's very low resistance to the current, we would expect a lot of current to be going through. I would definitely recommend just doing this whole problem again from scratch. Because this problem actually involves a lot of the really key ideas for alternating current. And like I said, they made it easier than it had to be because they were giving us leading questions. You should try to just take the original given information and see if you can figure out everything about the circuit without all those leading questions. What was the average voltage across the capacitor? 36 volts. And what's the average current across the capacitor? 226. But remember, that doesn't mean they're, get, they're both reaching that average at the same time. Remember, there's lags. Uh, we know that in the capacitor, the voltage is lagging behind the current. So you don't let, let, let this equation fool you into thinking that they're getting their average at the same time. Even though we're plugging in the average current here and the average voltage here, those still would occur at different times in the cycle because the voltage lags behind the current. And that's true for the inductor as well. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.